My friends, it's time to update and uh, make some improvement to my calendar application. So this is a Livewire based application or component. I've been using it for several videos. This is what we have achieved. On every page though, you can see it always showing us the July 2022 calendar. If we look into the code base, it's hard coded here. So in the mount hook, select year and the months are assigned with 2022 and the July. So that's why you see this month on the page load, which is not ideal. If you see here, when I change the month or year, say I'm on 2023, August. I want to share this calendar with my friend, so I share this URL. Unfortunately, he or she can't see this month. Instead, when they access this page with the URL, they always get landed on July of 2022. So how can we make more friendly? So we can use the query stream. This is also the Livewire framework supports. If you look into the documentation, there is a section called Security String. This is what you can use. So I'll show you. It's pretty straightforward. When we want to put some data or information or argument parameter into the query string, we simply use query string property assigned with an array. The elements of the array will just be the parameters or the properties of this component. Say if I want to put select year, selected months in the curve string, that's it. This is what you need to config to support query string. Now let's come back to the page, the component. If we refresh, you can see the select year and the months are added to the URL. Why 2022 and the July? That's because we initialize them in the mount hook. So these data are reflected in the curve string. If I change to 2023, if you refresh the page, you can see, yeah, it's 2023. So this is how you can um, use the curve string to reflect the parameters. The other thing is when you refresh a page and uh, change it to eight, actually it's not working, if you see, or November. It's also redirect to 2023 and uh, July. That's because we have the default value set here in the mount hook. So now we can get rid of these two settings. And then the properties of the component will rely on the query string. The query string or query parameters will be set to these properties. Now let's come back to this application and the first page you can see, okay, 2023, July, 2022, and December. Now you can see it's working. Every time when I change the months, it's reflected in the query string or the year, it's also reflected. Now I'm on 2024, October. If I refresh a page with this URL, actually you can see I'm landed on October. October of 2024. So this is how we can use the query string to make it more friendly. So now you can safely share this URL to your friends. They are able to access the calendar of 2024 October. You may see it's not very friendly or too long for the users as a query parameters. So you can rename. If you see here, if you scroll down here, 
There's an alias paragraph here. You can use as, so it will be the alias of the query parameters. Now we can do the similar thing in the code. Say select year, right alias, say year, right? As this is what we can do. And similarly for selected mouse, we can say alias mouse. Now if you come back to the application refresh page here and the mouse, let's see if it's working. It's very interesting, not working. No, as my fault. Right. What I was thinking with as. Now it's working. So you can see the alias for ear and the mouse are working. Okay. I think that's it for today. So we learned how we can use query string in Lava component to make the application more user friendly. And what are the options you can use to apply different uh, query strings in your application or URL. Okay, that's it for today. If you are looking into more details about query string, feel free to check out the official documentation. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you feel it's useful, remember to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.